If you'd like to see how I created this canvas painting, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube, so today I'm going to be using this pretty green color. It's like an OD green. I can't remember what this says on here. Um, and I'm also going to use this acrylic gem, a sponge brush. I'm just gonna jump right into it. So right now I'm just um, squirting the paint all over my canvas, which happens to be an 18 by 24 that I purchased from <laughs> Michaels. So I'm just gonna gently take my sponge brush and just smooth the paint out. That's what I'm going to be doing at this point right here. Once you have the paint all smoothed out on top, make sure you hit those sides because you don't want to have white showing on the edges of your canvas. With this canvas, I'm trying something different. So I have this little jar of foil leaf. So while the paint is still wet, I'm just going to sprinkle some on top of it and just kind of see what sticks and what stays. I'm just going to kind of see what sticks and what stays on the wet paint. Now this can get pretty messy because it just kind of flies away and it's so weightless that it just really kind of gets all over the place. But I was just trying to go a different direction with this canvas than I do my other ones. Just trying some really unique options here. So we'll just see how this turns out. I purchased these little um, Dollar Tree pebbles or rocks and instead of using crushed glass, I'm going to use these. What I'm going to do is add a little bit of uh, like maybe two teaspoons of this Mod Podge and then I'll add some glitter to that and then we're going to stir this up so we can have some type of texture. Just stir that right up and then to add some sparkle, I'm going to dump on some glitter on top of here as well. Maybe two different types of glitters. So it could still have a little sparkle to it. Now I'm going to use this Tri Art Liquid Glass, which is like a resin replacement. It doesn't have the harsh smell. You don't have to mix it with another solution. You just pour it right on. It's very strong um, as far as holding the rocks. I've used it multiple times. I absolutely love it. Um, I actually need to get some more. Wherever you pour the liquid glass is where you should put your glitters and your rocks to hold it in place. Okay, so I just put my little glove on and now what I'm doing is adding the rocks to the canvas on the areas where you see I put the liquid glass. So that's what I'm going to be doing now.
okay so I have these acrylic little clear gems and they may not show up they may or may not but I just thought it'd be something different to add on to my canvas so I'm gonna sprinkle a couple of these onto the liquid glass just to add a different feel to this canvas and I'm making this for my sister-in-law it's her birthday shout out to those Virgos and she loves this OD green color so I thought it just made so much sense to make her a painting with that color and she's just really into artwork. Um, I'm also putting some pearls on here as well. Also just to give it a different feel. Now I took this precision tip bottle and I filled it up with some Mod Podge because I just kind of had an idea of making some little squirrels and designs in between where I have the chunky rocks just to add a different type of vibe to this canvas. So that's what I'm doing now. Now that I'm finished with all that, now I'm just going to dump glitter on over top of the rocks to add even more sparkle. And of course I'm going to add glitter to the Mod Podge squirrels that I made as well. I'll be adding fine glitter, um, extra fine glitter, and I'll be adding some chunky glitter as well. All a uh, different type of silvers. Go ahead and let this sit um, for 24 hours and then we'll come back and see what we have. Uh, this is something different. I'm just trying to switch up the styles that I'm doing. Just kind of trying to create some ideas that kind of popped in my head. So um, we'll be back. Okay, so this painting has sat for 24 hours. Now I'm going to go ahead and get my box and dust everything off and see what stays on and then see how this looks. Okay, so the painting has dried and now I'm just going to brush off all the excess glitter and rocks. This is a really soft brush and it really helps to get all the glitter and excess rocks or anything that isn't going to stay. So once this painting is hung up on the wall, it won't have any fall off because so far right now I don't do any sealing and I haven't had any issues so far. So I'm just gonna keep dusting this off. I'm gonna turn it in a 360 angle, so I'm gonna brush it from every angle until there's nothing coming off, and then I'll show you the final result.
Okay, you guys, here is the final finished result of this OD green, forest green, olive green type painting. And I think it looks very, very nice. I like it because it's different than the other paintings that I've done. And I like it because the color is the perfect color that my sister-in-law loves. I have given it to her since I recorded this video and she does like it. I was kind of afraid that she wasn't going to like it. Um, it even had to grow on me, but she said that it's very, very pretty. And I like how when you get closer, you can see the pearls on there. Um, and if you look really closely, you can see those little clear, um, those clear acrylic gems that I put on there as well. So I like the, the depth that it has and the, the chunkiness of it, the dimension that it has. So this is something that you can kind of really do your thing with and just go with, with, go with the flow with how you're feeling or just make it match your decor. These, thank you guys for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it or if you received some cool ideas or some inspiration. I do have a whole playlist with all canvases that I painted. Um, I find this very relaxing and therapeutic for, to make these paintings. I love to make them as gifts for people. Um, so far, I've made myself two of them, one for my bathroom and one for my wall. I'll be doing the video of the one I did for myself pretty soon. But thank you all again for watching. Um, subscribe if you'd like to. If not, thank you so much for stopping by. Bye-bye.